All right, everyone, welcome back. We've got a lot of work to do still. We are in the middle of a great holy war, and you can kind of see that on the screen right here, and I'll zoom in. We've got some allied troops in the area, and there's still a lot of enemies. It looks like the main force of the enemy is one army back here, who is rather hurting. They might be low on supplies, and one that is stuck in a battle right now, which our allied forces are probably going to lose. Um, but we do have some reinforcements right here. Not very great, admittedly, and right here. That could be enough to hold them off for the moment. Oh, it looks like the enemy has quite a big force right here. The plan is to reinforce them as quickly as possible. I'm hoping that we can do that in the next five months and hopefully the war is still going and we haven't lost too much sway here. Um, we've got some war score from occupying the counties and we've got a pretty good battle score there. Uh, the defender controls the war target. So somehow we missed on the war target. What is the war target? It's all of this territory. So even though we went over here and attacked the capital, the great holy wars work a bit differently. So we need to focus our reinforcements on capturing more of this area the contested area with the stripe lines. So that's what we're going to do when we are able to reinforce them. We've got plenty of gold coming in. I actually had to do some studying on Holy Wars because I, I, I kind of missed the mark on this. Our hostage doesn't really do much for us and we're contesting an area over here that just doesn't even isn't needed even though it's a part of the kingdom of Wallachia it just doesn't work the same as a regular Cassus belly anyway let's jump back into it we've got an inspiration project and our sway on Countess Mariana is going quite well and speaking of the inspiration project, up late, time disappears in Edelhard's study, drinking mead as we excitedly discuss the book he is writing for me. Am I imagining things, or is there an indescribable tension? Uh-oh. The hour has grown late when my writer puts down his quill, takes a deep quaff from his goblet, and smiles at me knowingly. Is he... No, the scripture is clear. Adultery is a sin. This is the temptation of Satan. Oh, Edelhard. You lay with him and you gain stress. Well, that's not an option. No, I can't. Adultery is a sin. Wait, how dare you? And it's going to be a lower quality. So we can afford a little bit of back away from him. Ten opinion for a little bit of piety there. Yeah, that's going to be tough for our allies to get in there and win some battles at the moment. They got to be able to reinforce this army that's stuck in there. Uh oh. Yeah. We'll be in there soon enough. We're going to watch closely. Oh, you know what? Let's raise some more light footmen. Uh, let me see. Forest. Taiga, jungle, taiga forest, hills. We might want to increase our bowmen, but it looks like the, yeah, there's plenty of levees on the opposing side still. The bowmen are good. The lightmen are also good against the levees, or so I've heard. Uh, we got plenty of gold. Let's try to raise one of each with them. I don't know. We'll just see how that goes. We've got some situations here. Oh, one other thing we need to do real quick 
is we've got too many duchies and I don't really want Salerno per se. I think it's these two. And we could get a claim on this if we create or we give the uh, the duchy of Salerno. We could give it to this guy. Uh, he's got some good stewardship. Let's check his traits. He's vengeful. He's humble and temperate. That's not bad. We could grant him Duchy of Salerno. Uh, let me take a quick look at our succession, though, before I just get ahead of myself there. Titles lost on succession. We've got the Duchy of Ancona and the County of Ancona. The Duchy of Salerno is going to go to Guidone. And the County of Napoli and Siena. I don't like that. Prince Arterico. What do we have Arterico on? Is he diplomacy education? Who chose that? Did I choose that? Unfortunate. Uh, Guidone is obviously a... Wow, he's a treacherous zealot. Okay, well, if we give away the Duchy of Salerno, which we don't really need, and I just want to give it to this guy because... Catholic Lombard. He's a his culture is Lombard. Let's check the cultures here for a moment. Houses, cultures. Greek Lombard. So we can see Lombard is there. And Sicilian, it covers the rest of this area. Hmm. Very interesting. And the papacy owns the other Lombard area. Let's take one more look at cultures. Sisalpine. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's the best option I think we have right now. It will increase... He's going to gain 60 opinion of us. So, that's good. He remains our vassal. Let's grant him this title. What just happened? Oh my gosh, that scared the heck out of me, that view that we were just in. It was showing our territory, but not our kingdom. Woo! Okay. Okay, I'm going to click slow speed here while we manage some of this. Um, That's excellent because I we should probably have a good hook on... Uh, what have we got going on here? Why does this guy look like he's a part of a holy order? That's interesting. Did they just break away from... Oh, wow. Wait a second. What just happened? Calabria took over Apulia? But they didn't get this? Can we offer this guy a... Uh... Very interesting. Let's check out the Pope here. Has he got some coin yet? No, he doesn't have a, a darn thing. Let's try to get this from the Pope, maybe. Kind of want this guy, Duke Guy's Marshal. Who is Duke Guy of Calabria? Okay, he is part of. He's a part of that. That duchy, I guess that is. Can that be a kingdom? It sure can. I wonder what he's doing. Why he's not? Why is he not the king? Hmm. Interesting. We're gonna have to handle them next. A word of advice. I saunter between the market stalls of Firenze, a heavy pouch tugging at my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? As I admire the wares of a local jeweler, exquisite filigree, 
A sound investment. My vassal Duke Vital suddenly appears at my side. A word of advice, my liege. Have a look at the smithy over there. The wares might be simple, but their potential is great. Invest in the jeweler's workshop. Which gives us five plus five percent monthly percentage. Invest in the smithy, which could potentially increase our relationship with Duke Vital. And army gold maintenance. Plus 20% holding taxes also. That, that could be very, very worth it. Although he is up there in age and that's going to add stress when he passes away. But let's see how this goes. 55 gold and a 75% chance that he becomes our friend. And we gain great smithy investment for 30 years. And the holding of Firenze gets it as well. Okay. Awesome. That went excellent. We got that. Great. Uh-oh. Tour is no longer our caravan master. Um, we don't need one at the moment, but if we try to go anywhere, we're going to need that. Let's take a quick look at our knights. Oh, we're looking pretty strong on the knights. Uh, this guy looks good, too. Let's recruit him. Absolutely. Knight, knight, knight. Okay, it looks like 11 is still our lowest, lowest knight. Wow, we got to work on that guy. Duke Diedrich is also a knight. Interesting. Hmm. Wow, Wilbert looks pretty cool. He's lowborn. Hmm. Do we have a successor for this yet? Okay, yeah, let's seek a worthy successor for this. And we have a worthy successor for that. It looks like these guys are part of like a holy order or something, unless they're just wearing the clothes here. Okay, Countess Mariana is swayed. We need to take a quick look at our factions here. And, and since we swayed her... Oh, somebody else came off the list. And she's the last one. So let's keep working on her. And then we don't have to worry about this Liberty faction much. I can't... I don't want to press the demands. We are the leader still of the Crown... Lower Crown Authority Liberty faction against our liege. But we can't do that quite yet because we don't want to risk a civil war with him. Recruited guests to court. Awesome. Take a quick look at Pisa. Can we offer this guy? Hmm. really like to just Duke Jordan. My goodness. It only gives us a press claim though. Okay, let's continue. We'll worry about some of that stuff after this war. Let's take a look at our troops. Inspiration realized. Excellent. My lady, my beneficiary, Edelhard, smiles and gestures me over with ink-stained hands. The book is finished. I hope the completed work overshadows my lack of knowledge on the subject. Please have a look. A beautiful tome shows a modest understanding of stewardship as it touches upon subjects such as trade routes. The cover is velvet that has been embroidered to display a repeating image of a detailed row. Okay. Little pen sound in the background. Impressed. A beautiful book with excellent lettering. What does that even mean? It's excellent. Development growth plus 0.04%. Monthly stewardship lifestyle experience plus 30%. Okay. Well... I'll take it. 
Uh, very good, sir. Very good. Where is that? Ah, we can put it in our court. That's cool. All right. Let's throw it right here. Under the banner. Okay, cool. We got our first court artifact. Besides the banners, of course. Perfect. All right. Let's continue forward. What about one of these? Can our... Will the Pope give us like this? No. What about this? No, barely not. Why? Reluctance in his opinion of us. Well, if we increase his opinion of us... Administrative court tier. Okay, excellent. We're still working on administrative, which is fine. We're bringing in the gold. Bringing in the gold. Excellent. Bringing in the gold. Uh, I gotta figure out who we're gonna station there. Uh, regimental clearings. We can upgrade. For 280. Hmm. Let's hold on to that just for a moment. A faction targeting you has disbanded. Excellent. Okay, that's what we wanted. Um, in that case, let's start swaying the Pope. Also, uh, when the time comes, which I didn't do last time. Oh, we did have our martial and organized army. Okay, that's great. Train commanders, knight effectiveness, men at arm damage and toughness increase by what plus one percent per month up to 30s. Currently zero percent. Okay, uh, we need to do that, but what's our county control looking like? It's not horrible. It's not horrible. Manage royal guards. Okay, we need to train commanders at the moment, and then when we go to battle and we raise the army, we'll go back to organize army. Levy re garrison size and levy reinforcement rate plus 61%. Ah, uh, I see. We need those reinforcements at the moment. Okay. We need to be training commanders in the off season. Looks like some allies are still over there, but the enemy is making heavy progress. We need to get our troops back in there and get back in the fight. Let's see how much time we have left. We have three months left to reach full strength. I'd like to be full strength while we can this time we're gonna take a much more methodical approach uh, step by step that way we can hold on to our supplies that's kind of how it works and we'll kind of like bust our way through Wallachia if we can since I want to take a look at our prisoner since this does nothing for us. I don't even want to ransom him because we can get 200 from this guy. He's going to... He's not doing too healthy in there. Hmm. Well. Sorry, bud. 11 coin doesn't really help me out. But 200 would be a nice reward for your release. Okay. No, they're not going to get there in time. Yeah, they've just got too many troops left. We're going to lose this war. It's unfortunate. A scheme at court. My spy master is coming to me with grave news. Someone is plotting against my knight, Gaberto. Okay. Well, maybe they'll get scared now that they know this is happening. Okay, two months to full strength. A loving lock. I'm engaging my dearest Leodolf in our usual pillow talk. Oh, gosh. Wrapping his lovely hair around my fingers. Do you love my hair so, my songbird? 
Perhaps you should carry it with you always as you go about your duties as queen, so then everyone will see you and I are one. I will wear it until I die. You gain the nickname with the lock. You gain the trait loyal. Diplomacy plus one. Hmm. My knight and lover. He gains the trait loyal as well. Hmm. I'm not a... Not a big fan of of it. But our liege opinion plus fifteen percent. How is our intrigue? Intrigue isn't great, but our diplomacy is okay. Queen Matilda with the lock of Italy. Nah. Sorry, bud. Not a fan of that. Speed up time just a little bit here. Count Rudolph's hunt. Looks like it's right here. Man, this guy loves throwing hunts and feasts. Always in burn. Notable guest has a claim on the county of Bologna. Excellent. My guest. Let's uh, let's recruit this. Oh no, we can't even go to war against Bologna because of the crown authority. Mm. That's unfortunate. It's going to cost him 130 to bring him to court. Nah. Offer guardianship. Send Kaiser Heinrich. Greetings, my sensible Vaswa. I would like for your young son, Arderico de Conocid, to be raised by Sigmund von Metz, a most skillful guardian. Wow. Very skillful indeed. He's likely to become Franconian. I'm not really worried about that too much, but uh, that guy is quite skillful, so that could be something. All right, let's try it out. Departs for Klingenberg. He's still betrothed to this wonderful a girl who's a genius. Okay, not looking good. This army is really wiping us out, and they're kind of taking up the territory here. But if we can get in there and win this battle again, oh, 7,000 troops, yeah. We are going to try. Is this guy a part of our court? Is. Let's take a look at our knights. Let's uh, select him as a successor. Great. Excellent. Okay. We are at full strength, although our levy size is not. During the daily management of my realm, I have learned of several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential, but realistically I can only pursue one of them. I must determine what would ultimately give me the most value. I've heard rumors of a lost tome rediscovered. Gain a very good book artifact. King Yaromir could use help managing his holdings. You gain a weak hook on him of Bohemia. Securing those trade deals will fill my treasure. You gain 420 coin. Absolutely. Secure those trade deals. We now have a thousand coin to invest. Excellent. I think what I'd like to do, uh, we'd have to build a, a city first before we can build another holding. How much is the city going to cost us? Oh, well, there you go. I just clicked that so fast. Okay, well, once the city's built... No, oh, I don't even... 
Aborting a concession will refund the cost and allow another holding to be constructed here. That doesn't matter. We were going to put a, a fortress on one or, one or the other. It's probably better if the city goes there, maybe. That's okay. Not going to get too picky with that. Betrothed can marry Prince Temio. Can marry Princess Hulia of Hungary. Excellent. Let's make that happen. He's already 27. He needs to be married. You accept? May God grant them many children. Excellent. Okay. All right. I think it's time. We're about there with our levies. And we are at full men at arms. We're going to raise the army. And while the enemy looks to be retreating for some reason, uh, we're going to get back in there. Maybe we just can't see them at the moment. Oh, my bad. We're paused there. Ten days left to raise our armies. I've arrived in Florence to pay homage to you, glorious queen. Excellent. We'll gain 50. We'll gain 50 coin. I accept your generous gifts. Thank you very much. Wow, we have a crazy good commander. Where did this guy come from? Duke Ugo, the lion. He got better, it seems. Huge prowess. He's scarred, which gives him more prestige. That's cool. And he's a crusader. Ah, uh, that's why he got better right there. Yeah, he's, he's absolutely excellent at what he does. Um... We are going to march our armies together. And we're going to select one at a time here. This is Duke Ugo's army. Let's select that and that. You know what? Yeah. We're going to keep them separate for now. We're just going to march them together. And let's cut straight through. Need to get over here. Okay, it looks like we're not going to take any attrition so far. How are we doing on plagues? We're okay. Nothing in our kingdom. Okay. Arturico is only going to be there a short while, but we'll see what becomes of that. Little waiting game here while our army marches. It's tough for me to to reconcile with building outside of our of these two holdings since I don't know what's going to be passed on. So I, I really want to focus on Florence, obviously, um, and building the wealth of Florence because that's going to contribute the most to when our son takes over the helm here. Marino di Canossa gains 20 opinion of us. This is our grandson. Excellent. Does he have a guardian? Educate child. He 
becomes our ward. What about the king? Can you, uh, well, man, the king is just not really good at anything but stewardship. Princess Clara or Prince Rolando might benefit from raising this boy. Send proposal. Okay. We could also secure an alliance by betrothing him as well. And actually, let's take a look at what would happen if we... We get plus nine for managed domain, but if we turn them on chivalry, how would that affect our income? It would lower it. So we might as well keep him on that. More worried about income than winning this holy war. If we can win it, hopefully, but we're not doing so hot right now. Looks like our allied troops are going to get back in there. Toil and hard work, my ward Adelinde has been impressed with one of the household knights for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, she has been repeating the warrior's words to herself. Work hard and you can master anything. Indeed, hard work will bring her where she wants. Okay, excellent. She gains the trait diligent. Okay, there's some neutral armies down here that we don't have to worry about. Oh, Guidone has fallen ill. That's not great. Ooh, newer stewardship perk. Excellent. Fearful troops. Men at arms maintenance per dread minus uh, vassal tax contribution. That could be big. I do have a lot of vassals. Detailed ledgers. Republican ruler opinion. Monthly income per stress level. What is this? Claim throne scheme against your liege. I don't really want that. Learn language. Vassal levy com contribution. That's big. Plus 20%. Mm. Tyranny. Okay, let's go with this. Vassal tax contribution plus 10%. That could be big. A little boost there. Cool. We're going to have to recapture this and we're going to have to start... Once we um, capture this county here, we should be able to manage our supplies a little better than last time because we marched straight for here thinking it would do some good, which it didn't. Well, we learned our lesson. The allies are going to go in there and possibly win some battles. Good number of troops, and we're bringing the reinforcements as well. Kind of good timing that they're getting back in there. I'm liking what I'm seeing, although we have a ton, a ton of work to do. This war score is not good. We have lost so many battles. But we need to start controlling this war target, which is this area. So we need to gain back these areas, and we're just going to do it methodically, one little step at a time. We'll go here, we'll bounce down to here, and then we'll shoot over here and start recapturing some of these. While our allies looks like they're going to start from the top. Oh boy. And the enemy is going to meet them here. We might have to get over there and reinforce. That is quite a large army. They're not going to be able to fight both of us. 10,000 troops. They got about 10,000 troops. What are we doing? Let's combine our army now under one commander so we get the most benefit. And let's see. Before we unpause this, Let's figure out where we need to go. Are we going to start right here? Maybe start this siege? Or should we... we got to wait until our allies engage. So let's go ahead and see if we can draw them around. Kind of want to stick to the plan here. Uh-oh. All right, we've begun our siege. We need to pay attention to this major army here. Whatever they were doing. What are our allies doing? We need to get in there.
Okay, absolutely. We need to retreat. Potential battle. This is not good. Okay, we're locked in a battle that we are not going to win. Our allies left us out to dry. We messed that up. We're going to have to retreat as soon as we can. Not good. Let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that about does it for us. And it looks like they're going to win this holy war. That is sad. Broken Cross, the warriors of St. George found only death and humiliation at the gates of Wallachia. The crusade so eagerly called and supported by Pope Stephanus ended in a disastrous defeat that has only hurt the cause of the faithful. This will surely embolden more blasphemers and infidels further to further stray from Catholicism. St. George has abandoned us. Oh, so be it. Call to war. Uh, who is this guy? Dude, my guy. What? Where are we going to go? Moldavia, enemies. Uh, sure, we're going to accept, but... Wow, Hungary. All right, we'll accept, but if we can't... Oh, the Holy War here is... Uh, he's so close to winning that actually... That must have been this other war that was taking place. Looks like they've got some stuff going on here. Okay, well, we are in full retreat. There's no way we're going to reinforce them. We need our army to get back into... Actually, can we just disband them? Yeah. No. No armies can be disbanded. Okay. Is it love? I can scarce remember what my life was like before Astash declared his feelings for me. Those days seemed so bleak, so dreary. But with him by my side, everything and anything could suddenly seem possible. We have a lot of lovers. He's not our lover yet, but sheesh. I wish we could go on like this forever, but deep down I know I must make my choice. Am I brave enough to keep, to give in to my feelings, or must I shut my heart to a stosh forever? I am yours now and forever. He be, might become our soulmate. One true love's kiss is all I can give. He will not become our soulmate, but he loves us. Hmm. Very interesting. I kind of want to see what happens if he becomes our soulmate. <laughs> I am yours. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've been defeated in battle and Duke Vital dies. The wild hunt. I am riding out. My horse suddenly throws itself off the path. The fall is unavoidable and knocks the air out of my lungs. When I look up, I find myself face to face with a wolf. Before I get a chance to scream, the beast collapses an arrow between its eyes. Matilda, my sunshine, I thought I had lost you. My hero is none other than Duke Estash of Lower the Rain. I need you, my love, right here and now. He becomes our soulmate. He lays with us. He gets a bunch of renown. Okay. Found a soulmate. Interesting. Okay, Duke Michel of Spoleto. Looks like we need to start a sway scheme on him. He's not very happy with us. I don't know where this guy came from. Uh, once our forces complete their retreat, we'll disband them. And that will be that for the Holy War. We've lost the crusade. We're in another holy war that we pledged right after, but there's no way we're going to be able to get there. Um, so that'll be that for us.
Not, I'm not even going to worry about it. Looks like they're going to win that one anyway. They're still wrapping that up, so that'll be over shortly. Well, sorry to disappoint everyone. I know that's not... Okay, good. Our son recovered from pneumonia. I know that's not what we wanted. Um, I'll accept any tips and tricks. I've been trying to study up on my war game, but I, I still got a lot of work to do on that. But I look forward to the next crusade. And I also look forward to getting back into some of our own domain, some uh, some areas of interest here. So it looks like we've got a foe to the south named Calabria, which could be a formidable, could be formidable. Yeah, their military strength is inferior, but they're looking pretty decent. 4,000 troops, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Young Duke Guy. Pretty cool name. Protecting against factions. Probably something I should read up on. Okay, we can ransom the Khan now. For 126. I think I'll take it. We can demand payments from Prince Atemio. Uh, we can ask for a pardon, probably for our adultery. Yeah, let's disband the troops. No, we can't yet. Okay, let's bring them back here. Duke Bertold. of Swabia, who we actually went to war against, but that is right next door. Can we join his grand tournament? Who is our champion? Excellent. We got a lot of gold. It could be a good time, especially when we disband the army. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look. Slow time down here. We'll keep it going so our army can get back. And we need to take a look at our courtiers and who right now is our personal champion. Personal champion. Old Alrico, 20 prowess. Do we have anybody better? Liduf, how is he? He's only 10 prowess. Okay, no. All right. It might not be bad, but... Royal Architect, King Ingenwald. We need to replace him. He's not very good at his job anymore. We've got some good choices here. Our steward, Azone, could be our royal architect. Let's appoint him. The king is losing his touch slightly there. Search for legends. Regular duties. No, we're going to keep searching for legends. We need a caravan master. Our acclaimed knight is excellent at this. Let's appoint him. We don't need a wet nurse at the moment. We do need a high almoner. Uh, Odone Court. Yeah, he's just going to have to fill the spot. He's a lot of things for us at the moment. <laughs> Cupbearer. Uh, we need another bodyguard. None other than our lover would be perfect for that. Court poet. Court musician. We can employ some others, but I don't want them at the moment. Um... Our lady in waiting we need to change because she has she's a leper so we just cannot do that princess Julia would be excellent for us sorry Clara you are just a bit weird for my taste right now all right there we go Let's get this army back. We'll disband them, and we should be pulling in some some fairly good good money here. Right, we've only got a little bit of time before. I've never done a grand tournament like this before. Can we join? We've got some Taiga there. We need to hire a mountaineer. 
And of course, we're going to hire mercenary guards to get us up through that area. It's going to cost us 42. We won't arrive in time, so we missed out on that. That's unfortunate. Maybe we'll throw one for ourselves. Come on, army. Get back to where you need to be. We're going to let our army recover, and then we're going to go down here and start grabbing territory again. And matter of fact, let's start working on the next claim. Capua would be good for... Oh, no, we can't get Capua. We already have Capua. Uh... Hmm, maybe we should focus on this area? Could be good. Logodoro would be good. Yeah, we'll see where we go. Now we can disband. Well, as I said before, a little disappointing. Let me know how I can improve on my war game. Uh, those those holy wars, those great holy wars are always a bit of a mystery to me. I'll, I have to try to... I think I messed up at the beginning by not sticking to the allied forces and letting them deplete way too fast. Kind of letting the enemy team up on us there. Uh, next time going in... We'll think about that more. I did learn a lot about the battles and the territory is more important than going after the capital or the ruler. Altering the deal, my vassal Duke Grimar has a contract with me that is quite lenient, exempting him from many of the obligations I would typically expect from one of my vassals. If I could get him to consent to increased obligations, it would greatly benefit the realm in the long term. 430 to increase his feudal taxes, but I can persuade him. He will accept my alterations or die. You gain 10 dread and the nickname the bully. I bet I can persuade him for 19 stress. We get a fairly good shot at doing that. So we'll either it'll work or we'll gain the stress. So let's go ahead and try that because I definitely don't want to spend 430 coin. I'd rather increase our. Uh, build something with that. Well, only time will tell. And maybe something to look forward to for next episode. Oh, we're not even done with this yet. Okay. Well. We could build the University of Siena. Development growth plus 20%. Intrigue per level of fame. Altering the deal. He was reluctant at first, but after much discussion, I got him to agree that would be reasonable. Wow. He increases his feudal taxes. Excellent. Reduce costs for holding a grand tournament. That could be really, really cool. Quality of sponsored book inspirations. Enables send to university education option for rulers within the same realm. Wow. Renown increase. Monthly lifestyle experience. Cultural fascination progress. This is really cool. Um, yeah. That's going to leave us with 363 gold there. Uh, focus recruitment. Wow. Levy side. That's cool. Um, let's do it. It's a unique building. Excellent. 11 months to build that. That'll be very good. Oh, yeah. One thing I wanted to check real quick. Our succession. Are we still losing Siena? That's all I care about. These other counties can go away. Napoli and Mantua. Modena and Ferrara. Okay. Acceptable. And the Duchy of Ancona. Okay. I am happy with this. If we died tomorrow, we would lose a lot of gold. And it wouldn't be ideal. But our succession is in order. And there you have it. We'll end right there. Thanks for tuning in as always. A bit disappointing. Let me know how you feel about it. How I can improve. And I'll see you soon.